everybody. Thank you for joining me. It's Lori Houston with Lori Houston Art. Today, the paint colors today, I decided to go with Delta Flash Metallic. Um, this is uh, Aqua. And it has the, the flash in it is, is kind of like the Art Mine Sapphire. I thought that would go well together. We're going to put a little bit of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, Sheen Aquamarine. Then we've got some Art Mines Turquoise. I'm going to be sad when I'm out of all these Art Mines. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the Mondo Llama, and this is Smooth Seagrass, and Green Violet Opal Magic, and a squirt of Golden Phthalo Green. Phthalo Green. That's a lot. So a lot of different colors. So it is Tuesday night, or I should say Tuesday night, Choo Choo with Friends, starting off with Holly from the Morning Pour at 6 o'clock. After Holly is Joanne Ralston Art, then myself, and then Nate Bright follows after me. I'm very excited about being on this train. We've been doing it for quite a while now, and we are all so gracious for those of you that continue to come back, follow us each week, and we just love doing this. We love having you here. We love your questions, your comments, and if you are not a subscriber to our channels, we would love it if you would subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified for more fun videos. So I'm just going through now and I'm laying all these paints down again. Um, I have several videos where I use the last of my sapphire um, art mines that you see me putting down here. I love that color. Um, I think the last flower pop that I did, actually the first uh, Gemma flower pop in my Gemma series was Tanzanite and that was the last of it. So I actually videoed this one before but this also sold at a pop-up so thank you thank you to um that new owner of this painting i'm just so humbled and so gracious so now i'm just going to go ahead and get set up so that we can do a swipe and i've decided to do uh black and we're going to swipe and then i'm going to talk a little bit about this gemstone i'll see you there Okay, I think this looks like a pretty nifty background. Um, it definitely represents the um, teal sapphire. It is an absolutely gorgeous stone. I, I love it. Um, there's a lot of newness with this um, stone. The teal sapphire, um, it has two of the nature's most majestic colors which is a deep ocean blue and a vivacious green. And the combination, that is why they um, named it a teal sapphire. And the originals come from Australia. So I think that um, this is extremely popular um, in the 90s. Um, this color teal 
was so popular in the 90s, um, even in the sports world, you saw a lot of professional teams that were opting for that color. Like in all gemstones, it's really important to know the best cut, whatever's gonna give you the best color of the, the gem, the mineral, the stone. And for the teal sapphire, um, they said the classic oval is still the best shape for getting the most finished yield from the rough sapphire. Um, there are a lot of people that still go with um, uh, the round, but it, the oval appears to be the best cut for this stone. Although most people say that the teal sapphire from Australia are the true genuine stones, there have been many other sources that, have, that are now discovered. And one um, very important source is in Montana. And some of the, um, you know, gem and stone collectors, they still want to get their original stone from Australia. But they do say that these stones in Montana can be just as beautiful as Australian teal sapphires and have exceptional quality too, which is great to know. Another real cool thing about the teal sapphires, no two are alike. So each teal sapphire seems to have like its own unique personality and it reflects in different color variations. So their ability to surprise us with their unique hues and different tones makes this a very, very special stone. Okay, so I really had no rhyme or reason when I was doing this flower, um, my flower pop. I really wanted to try something different. Um, you know, there's so many possibilities with the flower pop and it really has um, become all about consistency like it is in all fluid art. Um, I'm finding that a lot of the black and white swipe products that I've used or how I've mixed it before is really changed. They've changed either the ingredients or how they hold the stems or I noticed that the stems will triple in size. So I've been really experimenting and not only with consistency in paints, but trying to find um, different styles of flowers. So I'm just thrilled with this one in the end result. I, I know that um, the first time I put it out, it sold and that just warms my heart where I have some that I made two years ago that I've taken to pop-ups and they haven't sold. So you have to really know what what people are looking for and find colors that pop and catch people's eye. I think that's the key to um, these flower pops or any painting for that uh, matter. So I'm just going in and I decide to add um, quite a few more flowers. And um, I was really interested in what the teal sapphire, sapphire symbolizes. I mean... We read, this is all on the internet, and it's just so interesting and intriguing if you really read about some of the different things that people believe in, and they purchase and take these sapphires um, or any gemstone um, and purchase them based on what they symbolize. So the teal sapphire, it combines the calming depth of blue with the renewing energy of green, and the gems can also symbolize open channels of communication and clarity of thought. All these associations can make these gems a wonderful representation of a bridge between two souls. How cool is that? As I'm learning about these gems, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know anything, very little, minimal about the gemstones. And now that I've started this series, I am fascinated. It is just amazing. All of the stones in the gems, I've, I've already got two gemstones um, or more, maybe three, 
um, in my Gemma series, Gemma series completed because they're just, it's phenomenal. And it's um, really, really interesting and exciting to do. So I am going to um, put some music on and we're going to finish up. And I am going to see you at the end. I'll see you there. Christmas is coming Start sending your letters off to Santa is coming yeah. Staying up late looking out the window Okay, we're going to finish up the stems on this next little flower. I just love it. This one's taking a little bit longer because I'm adding so many flowers. And I'm really paying attention to the stems, trying to make sure that I keep them all, you know, the same consistency. Um, I'm not really trying to be symmetrical as much as I really just want the black to stand out. Um, with each of the stems that I create. I think um, the Flower Pop series has become such a part of who I am and I am getting to the point where I'm very critical. I do so many and if they're not to my standard, um, you know, I, I start all over again. So I am trying to get a little bit better. I will take Nate's advice. He said, um, Lori, not every piece can be a masterpiece. Um, you're absolutely right, Nate. Um, although I would love to think that um, that that would happen someday, but it but it's not realistic. So I'm just going through now and doing some touch-ups. And um, this piece in 
is just stunning in, in real life. It's it's very vibrant and the colors are just um, perfect for this teal sapphire. It's funny, as I'm doing these, it makes me want to get one of every gemstone, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go through and reform some of the flowers where the paint's kind of um, settled in or, or, or pulled back because when you're doing the flowers so close and so small, um, you're not blowing the paint to its full, fullest capacity so it'll run back in and you have to touch them up. So let's take a look at these final results. I'm going to see you there. And there she is. Look how beautiful this turned out. I love the colors. My second gemstone in my Gemma series. This is Teal Sapphire. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I have. I want to thank all of my friends on this Tuesday night train and everyone that continues to watch me and support me. I thank you so, so much. Love to hear what you think in the comments below regarding this series. Please let me know what gemstone you would like to see next. Until next time, everyone, let's head over to Nate's channel. I will see you there.